So, so apparently, you have reached the um, the end of the road. The um, the end, and then you turn around, and then you realize that there was no journey that has happened. And then you realize that there's no one realizing anything, that there's no you that's realizing. It's just a seeing that everything that has apparently happened in the past, apparently happening at the moment, collapses, disintegrates, disappears. And the seeing that everything that you have worked on, everything that you did on your journey, didn't really count. That nothing really matters. To some characters, that may seem a little bit scary because you've stumbled upon the end. And then when you realize that there's no ending and beginning, that there's no you, that there's no one, there could be panic, there could be elation, there could be, oh, wow, this is it, or it could be whatever that seems to appear. I'm about to go into a story here. Uh, because a lot of people have been asking me so much about this, and it constantly comes up in meetings, is about awareness. <laughs> so in the story of this character, there's this character that was seeking enlightenment in the dream, looking for meaning, looking for purpose, looking for that final destination, looking for the summit, looking for the end of the road. So it kept on going and going, although it didn't have any choice in going or not going. And in this apparent journey, there were many different teachers and speakers in regards to this, what's trying to be described here, the indescribable, the nameless, the wordless. And in that apparent journey, there were teachers of awareness, teachers of consciousness, prior to apparent encountering this dead end <laughs> the dead end that i'm talking about is this the one that doesn't have any name the one that can't be expressed in words but prior to that in the apparent story there were a lot lots and lots of teachers that i really like to be honest you know um but it was not really making any sense it was very contradictory it felt like religion all over again so in the journey of this character, it tried to, you know, get over religion and jumped into spirituality looking for freedom, looking for unconditional freedom. When it got to spirituality, it landed in another jail cell. And then when it got into apparent non-dual awareness or non-duality or Advaita Vedanta, it did not realize that it was also landing in another straight jacket jail cell. It did not really make sense. But it was trying to make sense of what is aware of awareness. What is prior to consciousness? Who is abiding in awareness? And it really tried to um, really adapt to it, really understand it. It even taught it at the last leg of its teaching as, a, as the character was a spiritual teacher. So it's trying uh, uh, to teach non-dual awareness. But it was not really making sense. Um, apparently, there's awareness and there's consciousness. And awareness and consciousness together is enlightenment. There is the being, or there is the individual, the I am. And then there is the being, which is the consciousness. And then when you have this together, it's um, pure consciousness, or you've reached, you know, I amness. I might be butchering that right now because it purged all of this knowing, all of this understanding, all of this belief system, but it's just exposing that when this character reached the end of the road, the, the dead end, when it's seen finally that it's always been this way, that there's never been anyone here, awareness fell, consciousness disintegrated, all of that idea did not really matter anymore. There's no such thing as non-dual awareness. That's really non-dualistically, um, conceptually. It's a concept of non-duality is what I'm trying to say. It's very contradictory. Um, and 
when it saw that, when there is this release from this bound, this, this bondage of I have to be aware that I have to be I am, I have to be pure consciousness, or the belief that there is a greater being, that I am a small self right now that I'll get into higher consciousness, that, uh, that there are levels that got completely yanked out, that there's no one abiding, there's no one aware of being aware, there's no pure awareness. It reminded me of religion. It reminded me of when I was a little kid praying to a being. It reminded me of spirituality, find, finding the higher being. So this one was integrating or connecting <laughs> the union of the meing and the being, which doesn't really make sense because those are both imagination. So what was seen, what was exposed here was like, oh, wow, there's nothing outside of this. All that there is is this. I don't have to wear mala beads and wear beige and white, although I was tempted to wear a beige jacket today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when I was a spiritual teacher, there was this bondage. There was this, there was this um, jail again that I thought was liberation. There was an abiding. There was a finding. Maybe this is not the level yet. Maybe I need to do more purity lessons or do more practices. Although it's non-duality, you know, what, what's being ex expressed, you know, in some of these teachings. Again, there's nothing wrong or right about that. I, I, as I said, I do like some of the characters that teaches this. Um, but I can't agree with them. Because what's being thought is another understanding. It's another belief system. It's another, um, another religion, another spirituality. It almost feels very fundamental. And yet... The criticism of this communication is they're calling this very fundamentalist. It's actually very, um, it's free fall because it's not about knowing. It's not about landing anywhere. It's not about figuring out something. All that is being expressed here is that nothing can be figured out. Every time I hear the word satsang, I get an allergic reaction <laughs> because satsang is meeting in truth. But who knows the truth? Who came up with the truth? What's the truth? Isn't it just another word? And truth or false, just words? So when I hear satsang or guru or, or awareness or consciousness, it, it reeks of spirituality to me. I'm sorry, but this is not spiritual. What's being <laughs> expressed here, what's being exposed, it's nothing to do with spirituality. It's nothing to do with the greater being or being or consciousness or awareness. It has nothing to do with duality. Although it can only speak in duality, what's being expressed there is it's almost like a rogue. That's not really even a rogue. That's just another story. But what's expressed there is the simplicity, the exquisite, the intimacy, the immediacy of what cannot be expressed. So if this is already available, if this is already free, if this is unconditional love and unconditional freedom, who's abiding in it? Who's aware of it? Who's conscious of it? So when this character reached the end of that road, there was no turning back. There was like an uh-oh. It's all free falling from here. It's all unknowing from here. It's all a slippery slope sliding into emptiness. And when I see emptiness, I am not landing at anything. I just don't, can't come up with a word because what's being expressed here is wordless. It doesn't have any meaning. It doesn't have any purpose. It's not about integrating. It's not about applying. It's not about abiding. It's not about levels. It's not about anything. Everything is wordless, and everything is nothing. Nothing is everything. So 
again, I'm going going back into that one because I I I, uh, I was teaching it as well. I I had a seat. There was a, another teacher that was teaching a seat of consciousness. I'm like, I better get into that seat of consciousness thing. And there was. <laughs> There was one that was teaching awareness. So for quite a while, in this heavy seeking of this character, it gobbled up every single book on Audible. I would just type in consciousness, awareness, until I ran out of books. I devoured all of that. Consciousness, awareness, uh, applying non-duality, non-duality 101, five steps to non-duality, all that kind of stuff. So when it reached the end of the road, I'm going to repeat that again, <laughs> everything collapsed. All of the learning, all of the seeking, all of the understanding, all of the belief system. Free at last. Free at last, but no one is free. <laughs> um, and, and there are many questions, you know, that are going to arise out of awareness or consciousness. Again, I'm going to repeat it again, right? This is from, um, I actually have a friend because we were talking about it last night and um, my friend basically said that, you know, she was really invested in this, in this dream of being enlightened. So I am enlightened is a dream. I am is a dream. Enlightenment is a dream. Awareness is a dream. Consciousness is a dream. Everything is a dream. So what she said that awareness and consciousness are considered to as in, in, the, in the final seeing as the same. But there's no time. There's no before and after. There's no prior. There's no primordial. There's no prior to awareness. There's no primordial peace. There's nothing before. There's no seeker. There's no speaker. There's no teacher. There's no enlightenment. Nothing falls away. Because when you hit the end of the road, the one that hits the end of the road obliterates. It's no longer there. It's just left with this intimate, simple seeing that there's never been anyone here. So if there's never been anyone here, there's no such thing as time. There's no such thing as awareness. <laughs> if you, I'm going to get in trouble with this, with this talk here now. Uh, <laughs> if you have any questions, please go ahead. Dang, Emerson. My hand is up, <laughs> but you can't see it because of yeah. my thumb. Yeah. How are you doing, Eligio? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. Okay. So it presupposes that the me is negative, but it's not. It's not negative. It's not, not a neither negative. negative or not. It's, it's just not or not negative. We don't even have words for it. It's just what's arising, right? Yeah. Yeah. It could yeah. appear. It could appear and That's, also disappear. Yeah, it's not really, yeah. it's not really happening, but it feels like it's happening. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Emerson. Thank you. Do you guys like my background? <laughs> Hi, Mala. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, it was a thumbs up for your background. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see because I have fake glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. Uh, you might as well ask this question sure. as well. Um, I just wanted to say that... Um, <clears throat> You sent me this one-to-ones, right? And the one with Kim was just amazing. 
It was really, really amazing. Um, the What was so weird was I kept listening to it over and over and over again. And every time I listen to it, it's something completely fresh. Yeah. So weird. Because but, it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so, I thought, I, I had to ask myself, why am I listening to this over and over again? Um, the thing that uh, I wanted to ask was uh, the word emptiness comes up a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you... Uh... For a lack of word, right? Again, um, I don't use words um, to point to something um, because there's nothing that's be being pointed out. So I could might as well be using word like fullness, right? The fullness of everything, the wholeness of everything. Because what, what, what's being expressed here, what is seemingly appearing, what's seemingly here, cannot be put into words. So, oh, emptiness. so emptiness is just appears in everything. So what appears in everything is empty. What appears in everything is full. What appears in everything is everything. It's just a use of word to express or to illuminate what seems to be looked for is appearing in everything, which is empty. Because the, the mind the, the mind and the, the me, when it comes back, obviously it doesn't exist. It, it wants to create a state, isn't it? Yes, it's, yes, it wants to yes. It's emptiness state. Oh, am I there yet? But yeah, uh, there's uh, bec because there's a lack of words. Um, well, there's no words for it, really, not even a lack. There's no words what's being described here, right? So, um, yeah, I think emptiness is used because when you just see it as it is, um, there's no, uh, there's no piercing anymore, there's no. Yes nothing cutting through it anymore mm -hmm. I think that's why you had to use the word emptiness that's right yeah because yeah. uh how can you run away from this there's nowhere to run is there no no everything it's is... like big traffic jam isn't it you're here and yeah yeah and you you can't really uh there is no word to say how do you find a word to explain everything and nothing at the same time, nothing is happening to the person because there's no person. That's why you have to use the word nothing. That's and, right, yeah. And, uh, and fullness is like, you're blown away by all the energy, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? yeah, yeah. It's, it's this, is, this is energetic. All of this is energy, right? This is just, see, I'm using another word. Rather than yeah. using emptiness, I'm using the word energy. This is an energetic um, expression, but yeah. no one is expressing it. This is all empty. This is blank. I can also <laughs> that this is death. I, I use that a lot too. Um, yeah. But seemingly no one likes to hear death. <laughs> yeah. so, because the, there is remnants of the character, it, it's kind of tailing off, but now and again, it wants to know, you know, and if this question comes, oh, what is emptiness? What is fullness? And it's just, yeah. a, it, it, it's kind of the thing is dying already, but because of the conditioning, this yeah, question. So, so the, I'm going to change the word emptiness down. now into sameness, right? So the dying, you know, energy is the sameness of, of, of what's already seemingly sought for. Sorry, say that again. Anderson. Sameness. It's all the same. So whatever arises, you know, even trying oh, to, yeah. it's all the same. <laughs> yeah. So the one that's trying to, the one that thinks that it's 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 feeling free is the same as the one that's feeling that it it constricted. Needs to be free. Yeah. yeah, it's constricted. Yeah. It's the same. It's whole. It's not really separated. The idea that it's separated is also whole. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because it's, it's just an idea. Right, it's, it's wholeness. But everything is, everything that comes up is a dumbass it's the, idea, isn't it's it? It's the same, yeah. It's just, it's like, up. it's like a mirror reflecting a mirror reflecting a mirror. It's eternity. It's infinity. Have you seen two mirrors reflecting each other? Yeah, it just bounces yeah. off and each other. Yeah, yeah. 
So it's, it's emptiness or spaciousness or fullness or sameness bouncing back off each other. But there's no each other too. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. There's the illusion thoughts, that there's another, but there's no other. These thoughts just come up and then they disappear at the same time. And to a point, you don't even know the origination anymore. It's because just, there's no origination. Not, there's no origination. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, this is sometimes quite, uh, that sometimes there's a battle, isn't it? You know, this, uh, this wanting to understand, but my God, when you don't care anymore, when you say, I don't really care anymore, who cares, you know? That's and, right, yeah. And you're just saying, well, whatever happens, happens, you know, blast, you know, it's not me, it's nothing here. But that concept of no one is here, I can imagine that's why this message is not popular because it's you not want to yeah. fix somebody. There's no one to fix, is there? You just it's mind blowing, but even that doesn't exist. Thank because you. Because there's no mind. <laughs> Thank you, Emerson. I, um, Thank you. Thank I like you. your. Is that is that a simulation? So that's not a real window. Everything huh? is. God. That, <laughs> <laughs> but no one's simulating it, you know, before somebody comes into. Nice one, Emerson. Ch Thank change you. bricks, actually. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to make a little bit of a funny thing, you know, with, with um, because uh, um, this question has been coming up a lot about awareness and consciousness. Is it the same? So I wanted to make a play of like when I was uh, when I was a spiritual teacher, I would I would prefer this kind of like background and uh, wearing beige and white and mala beads. And there's nothing wrong or right about that. <laughs> no. I'm just Thank being you. I'm just being um, what do you call it? Um, cheeky. Yeah. Because <laughs> even even when the awareness comes up, the awareness is trying to check to see, oh, is everything OK? Is everything cool? Are you where you want to be? that is see yeah is so a lie isn't it yeah it is it is for example when when someone is following their thoughts aware of your thoughts aware of this mm -hmm. then it becomes a reinforcement of the illusory one that's aware because no one is aware yeah yeah it goes into this circular teaching they're circular so what happens is that apparently happens is that there is this story that generates a story to reinforce the story so the mm -hmm. story of awareness comes in to reinforce the story again so it's everything is a reinforcing that the story is real and it's very cunning as well because once yes. it's into a loop it just goes it's round going round. into loop yeah um, i'm not going to mention <laughs> the teacher but when I hear um, some of these teachers about awareness and consciousness, I just see I, I just hear a broken record that's skipping. Have you ever had a record player that skips? Yeah. Yeah. I just kind of like want to kind of flick it sometimes. I'm like, oh, keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just repeating over and over again. It's and it's repeating the same the same story over and over again, right? Because it's trapped in that. See, what happens usually, apparently happens, is that there's this belief in God. There's nothing wrong or right about that in religion. And then it, it morphs into, when you become a spiritual person, it morphs into the higher self. So God becomes the higher <laughs> self. And then when it becomes non-duality, it becomes pure consciousness, pure awareness. <laughs> same shit. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing it, wrong or right about that, but I'm just trying to point out something that is quite obvious when there's this seeing that everything collapsed. All yeah. the belief system and all the understanding. I even catch some, you know, yeah, some some speakers doing that. Um, so what? You know what I'm saying? So what? But this is just a complete expression of what cannot be said. Okay. Um, and and it's also, also it, lacking because it's saying something that cannot be said. <laughs> Go ahead. But also, Emerson, I think all of us in this room have experienced, you know, decades of accumulation of junk. Yes. Uh, and it takes a while to take a little bit of junk to the recycling center one uh, <laughs> once at a time, isn't it? Before everything just well, dropped. as I said earlier, you know, this <laughs> character did also that, but when it when it 
reached the end of the road it did you know when it when it got into the dead end of things when it 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 stumbled upon it's not caused by anything the seeing that there's never been anyone here all of that decades of seeking just becomes blank pages in a book that never really happened you're like oh wow it's like a nightmare and then you're like you're shaking your head you're like i did what I, I did thousands of hours of prostrations or meditation or anything like that. Not, not that there's anything wrong or right about that. It's just what's happening that also did not happen. Sorry to take up too much of your time. No, oh, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll go all day. You know, I, uh -huh. I, I like doing this, right? So if we don't have Thank to take a break, we don't have to take a break. We'll just go all day. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Gilind. Hi, you, Emerson. How are you? How are you? Still good looking. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't see myself very, very well. You know, with this message, uh, when the shit hits the fan, there's nowhere to 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 turn to, uh, and it's um, you know, uh, for the last month apparently, uh, I had to to go through. Um, surgery in order to save the vision and uh i'm it seems to be okay now so good and everybody around me were were like praying god and everything and yeah and i used to be like that you know but yeah there's nothing left yeah yeah so isn't that isn't that unconditional freedom when there's yeah, nothing left but you know um when hoping for something dies yeah yeah i just what needed to be done had been done but you know when you can't not drive you cannot dress properly or everything like that it's pretty harsh but it's to no one it's there's it has nothing to do with a me it's yes. what happens and it could be awesome and sometimes not you know yes yeah. so um it, it, it's uh it's it's it is something uh it's it maybe yes going to a point that you uh you think well this body at does this body really needs to be there you know at at the end because when you don't see anything it happened twice in a, in a, in a, in a, in a month or so and it's well. This is a total loss because yeah. you cannot do anything by yourself. No, no. Anymore. No. So, but now it looks like it, it's going to be okay. I don't know for how long. Good. I miss but, your shades. Eh? I miss your shades. Your shades. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, but. Um, I do prefer this message either way because you know when they say about karma, you must have done something in another life or, yeah, yeah. or uh, pray God or, or it's all bullshit. I mean, yeah. it's known. It's really known. So bad, bad things, apparently bad things happening. Uh, it's eye-opening. I like it. It <laughs> makes me laugh. Yeah. laugh every, every, you know, image with the eyes make me laugh so yeah. hard. But it, 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 life, you know, it's like Ukrainians, apparent Ukrainians never did anything to have bombs on, yeah. on, on over their heads. Nothing to do with the where you live or anything so it, it, i like the message because i think this is the the truthfulness of this message it's it's a kind of liberation too yeah yeah, yeah. there's not really truth but it's the honesty the sincerity yeah. in, 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 yeah. in in delivering something that cannot be delivered is is what's being expressed yeah. here yeah so the only what is left is what is yeah, At and no one knows what degree. is. Yeah, and no one knows what is. <laughs> no, it's unknowable. So yeah. good, great. Yeah. But you know, there's something here that still left that I want to know. What if 
this body wouldn't be there. Well, it's Would not it... really there. It's not really even there. No. No. That's just it's... another. It, there's a felt sense of realness in the body. You know, like if, if again, if you have eye problems, then then you, you get a surgery. But like in a dream, like in a dream, everything that seems to appear, everything that seems to happen is also not happening. But it feels completely real. Yeah. 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 It's all a dream. Yeah. Like not a dream. even a dream. Not even but, a dream. No, no, not even that. But there's no dreamer. So we can only use words. So we're just using words and trying to describe the inexpressible, the nameless, right? So we try to name it with like dream or or emptiness or something, but it's wordless. Even calling it wordless is already naming it. Yeah. Even calling it nameless is also naming it. It can't oh. be named. Yeah, it's so, just like... There, there, yeah. <laughs> and you know, what is really, really, really apparent in a certain way is the, the, the way every day is, is... The way nothingness is lived always changes it's it, it's it's not you ever know, changing and not changing at yeah, the same time yeah the, the apparent me you know the, the the me is not is not even something stable it, it it's everything goes through emotions and everything and mm. five minutes before you're a la and then not and yeah and there's nothing to be done about this. No, nothing mm. at all. Yeah, because yeah. nothing is happening. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right but I, I do appreciate to see you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Likewise. Thank Likewise. you, uh, Emerson. I'm happy that you're okay. Thank you, Gillian. <laughs> yeah. There's a few questions here. Sorry if I missed all this question. Could, this, could the me sense still appear but be seen as not real or does it always seem real? Um, since it's not really real, but there's this felt sense of realness, you know, when, when there's an apparent waking up in the morning, although no one wakes up in the morning, there's a wanting to get coffee, wanting to do this. So the seeing is that everything that seems to appear and not to appear is an illusion. It's a happening and happening. It can't really be described. Right. Um, it's here. There is there's never been anyone here. It's just seen as a happening and happening. I can't even describe it fully. It's just this immediacy, this exquisiteness, this uh, this intimate seeing that there's never been anyone here. The absence of everything and the fullness of everything appearing simultaneously. What is the reason the unconditional love is missed of these talks? The message don't recognize what that love is. Henry, can you can you um, clarify that? I'm going to repeat it again to see if I can. What is the reason the unconditional love is missed of these talks? The message don't recognize that love is. If you can add to that, I'll I'll try to. Unconditional love is something that can't really be talked about because it is not definable. Again, what you know earlier I said that what's being expressed here is the nameless, the um, inexpressible. That's what unconditional love is, is it's the nameless, it's the inexpressible. But don't think of it as something or even nothing. See how hard it is now? It's not something, it's not nothing. It cannot be understood because it's not a thing. It is also not something. It appears in everything. It's like a it's like a um an invisible see I'm trying to describe it already and it can't be. The idea of love is being kind of like projected or being being trying to be understood and then the other word and conditional. So love as we know it is personal love, is conditional love, is romantic love. Even when we see unconditional love of a mother, that's a personal idea of what unconditional love is. Unconditional means unconditional, meaning that 
no conditions whatsoever. So it could appear as, and this is going to be harsh, it could appear as murder. It could appear as anything. That's why it's hard to describe. I don't really talk about unconditional love a lot in these meetings is because it has become a greatest hit in some of seekers and they idealize it, they personalize it, and they think it's something that can be attained or something to be attained. Or it's a state. Or it makes them feel good. I hear all the time, can you speak about, you know, unconditional love? And, and usually uh, seekers tilt their head and imagine what it is. It can't be imagined. Um, next question here. So the knowing that I am is not replaced by knowing that I am not. I am not and I am are both knowing. It's both a dream. It's both an understanding. Again, there's this cyclical loop of knowing, even when it tries to unknow or kind of like, you know, I am not, or tries to negate it, it's still a knowing. It can't escape that. So I am is a dream. I am not is a fantasy as well. Because there's never been an I to be not, to be am. So both reinforces the illusory I. Did you want to add to that iPad? Okay, next question here. Hello, Emerson. Is subliminal messages in music reinforcing to the person? <laughs> um, I really don't know, uh, to be honest. Um, subliminal messages is just what's happening as well. And it's also not what there's no person to be reinforced, right? Um, but I can see what you're saying. For example, if you are listening to, you know, in the dream, you know, if you're loose, I'm not really sure, to be honest. If you if you want to add to that, Anne, please go ahead and unmute yourself. All right, Anne. Um, there's another question here. Some teachers say that there is awareness, but it's not personal meaning you are not aware of that awareness. Would you like to comment? Yes, 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 okay. So who is knowing that it's not personal then? So it comes from a knowing, right? That it's not personal. So that's just another understanding that awareness is not personal because it's a knowing. It's a learned thing. It's just another dream. It's just another, I call it the awareness trap. I've studied it. I've learned it. I try to be aware. I try to abide in it. But it's a trap. Because there's no, no one that's going to be aware. Even saying that it's not personal is also coming from an idea. Petra. Hi, Petra. Hi, Emerson. Hi, wow, you? I missed you. I missed you I miss all. you too. Folks. Good to see you all, folks. Yeah. I'm <laughs> well, so happy to be here. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. yeah, and I'm doing I'm doing better again. Oh good. Yay. <laughs> oh good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter anyway. But um going back to the kitty car in the mall, maybe Yes. It's, <laughs> um It's a fun ride though, huh? Well <laughs> <laughs> But it doesn't fabulous. go anywhere. <laughs> but, <laughs> I still take the the kitty car for real and someone who has no choice in uh, riding or not. But uh, yeah, there's still too much realness in, in what's coming up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? The one that, that, that likes the kitty car too much is the same um, as the kitty car. It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it's also not there. And that's, he, and that's all right. He might be related to the one uh, uh, pushing the snooze button. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. The one that's pushing the snooze button is also not there. It doesn't have a choice. I actually, yeah. I actually kind of like, uh, I added, I was talking to someone about the kitty car in the mall. You know, like you think it's driving, it's going up and down. And then uh, when it stops, you put another coin to keep it going. Or you go a tantrum. Oh, my kitty car stopped. <laughs> And then, and then someone, you know, but that's all an illusion. The kitty car <laughs> and the one that's in the car are the same emptiness or <laughs> blankness. 
It's the Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank See you, you later. There's a question. Oh, sorry. There's a continue, continuation here from iPad. iPad goes, in the earlier video, lady said that the me falls a lot nowadays and once her food was burnt and she is worried that what would happen if a glimpse occurs while driving? Is that dangerous event, non-event? Since it doesn't really happen, since nothing is happening, um, many people actually, uh, you know, this is just a story again, right? Many people actually, there's a seeing for example, if you love cooking, sometimes cooking is everything. When you love DJing, everything disappears. Some people like walking, and, and when they walk, they see everything as is. Nothing and everything apparently happening. Or someone likes running. Um, so glimpses are not really that special. We try to make it special because we make it into a story that I have reached divinity or it's that problem with the awareness thing again right um but yeah someone has a question or a second here was it you magdalena were you raising your hand there hi hi no i, I just wanted to say because of driving no yeah, yeah. <laughs> blimps happening while driving yes it's while driving safe. yeah yeah it's safe it's super you know, yeah yeah it happened when i went to a dangerous situation uh, while driving and you know there was no one but body was doing everything perfect yeah 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 no nothing was disturbing the happening and it it is it is just perfect yeah. yes i i i, I say so, this uh, it, do, uh, it doesn't yeah matter. yeah Actually, some people uh, talked to me and they said that, you know, they listen to this communication and all of a sudden they're driving and they don't know who's driving, but it's still driving. Driving uh, happens then. Driving and happens, yeah. Doing, the body knows what to do much better than me. So, <laughs> That's right. me. so it is it was That's just... Right. I always <laughs> say this, a glimpse is almost like a realization that it's, it's a blackout all the time, but you think that you're not blacked out. You know, when you're drunk and... You know, people people do all sorts of things. It's blackout. No one's doing it's anything. Nothing to do with with blackout. I have the other experience as well. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm just <laughs> so, making an analogy. No. I'm just making an analogy that this is like blackout because no one's doing anything. Yeah. Like when you wake up in the morning, like who did that? This is the same thing. No one has ever done anything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Magdalena. Uh, hi, Dale. Do you want to raise your hand, Dale? Or... Oh, okay, I'm, I'll read a question. Hi, Dale. Hi, Emerson. For some reason, screaming, shouting, laughing, and crying feels closer to home than talking in language. I hate any blockage that appears to get in the way of feeling the full experience of this. Even though everything is this, joy appears to feel better. Yes! Screaming, shouting, laughing, crying. Is <laughs> um, question here, Emerson? Can you comment about the criticism that um, what you're talking about is spiritual bypassing or a denial of everything? Um, I'm going to talk in story right now. You know what I'm saying? That this, and I'm going, to, I'm going to use. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like what seemingly appeared in this apparent character. A few days ago, there was death in the family, and um, this ca character had to cancel the meeting. The character cried and cried and cried, thought that the chest was going to cave in because of the the, the depth of the grieving. Cared about other people, cared about you know um, relatives, called everyone, um, helped everybody. So it's not a denial. It's actually the full expression of the character without any barrier, without any bypassing, without any kind of denial. So what appears appears and it's immediate and its response is whatever it is. So what seems to be, um, you know, the criticism about this, it is um, because, and I'm going to say this, 
Spirituality, actually, and non-dual therapy is bypassing. When there's a whole bunch of spiritual people that have not really learned medical or mental stuff, when, when someone comes here, you know, and they're going to trauma, I usually tell them that this is not the venue for that. I would suggest that they go to a professional, you know, um, person that does mental health. Because in the dream, if there's trauma, the dream, the dream, the trauma needs to be treated by whatever therapy. This is not therapy here. This is an exposure. This is an expression of the inexpressible. Um, so when there is a non-duality that pretends that it's therapy, that it's addressing some, because, you know, this character did a lot of teaching of shadow work, but it had no idea what shadow work is. So it's really guessing, it's really bypassing what seeming, seeming to be appearing. And they're, they're criticizing this communication that clearly states over and over again that this is not therapy, this is not counseling. In the dream, if the house is burning, you're not going to go to a non-duality speaker and say, is the house burning? Does anyone exist? <laughs> Surely it's going to call the fire department. If you cut your finger, you're not going to go to Tony Parsons and say, hey, Tony, I'm bleeding. <laughs> Surely you're going to go to a doctor. So again, coming into these meetings and looking for some therapy about trauma and then criticizing that it's bypassing when it clearly states that there's no one there. It's just an expression of what is. Um, <laughs> but again, I'm going back into the story of this character again, right? This character, um, just because there was a seeing that there's no one here doesn't mean that it is a robot, um, you know, without any feelings or any anything like that. I love talking to my nieces and nephew. Life is fully lived by, by no one. It laughs out loud. It cries really deeply. It grieves, but no one is grieving. No one is laughing. No one is uh, smiling. It's just what's happening. Prior to this apparent um, you know, um, dropping away of this character named Emerson, um, it went to depression and it did seek some help, but not in non-duality. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, all of these questions keep on like, you know, it, it's, it's almost like a lot of criticism about this communication comes and, and it's really, um, and they stick with that. It's almost kind of like when you are um, criticizing some religious people and they come up with this ideas about what whatever. Um, hi, iPad goes, wow, the story that you just shared about that in family is so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but again, you know, after that full on grieving, that crying in bed and, and, and went to the Jim Newman meeting and it was just aliveness and exquisite emptiness again. And then the next day cried again, stayed in bed and everything. So what's happening is what's happening. No one has any control. No one, it's, this is not a magical power saying that there's no more grieving or crying that happens. It's just seeing that everything's happening automatically and no one has any choice to grieve or not to grieve. But actually the grieving was so full, so exquisite. It was just so deep. It was just this kind of like, I'm like, oh, wow. At the end of it, it was almost like sparkly. When all of that kind of like there was just this emptiness that was just so sparkly and new and just this love for this imaginary character that passed away. Beautiful. Oh, and so and goes, what I mean about the subliminals is that to do things that aren't normal to the character. For example, doctor says you need to lose weight to be well. I'm not smiling now because there's no one. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but a subliminal message saying I am at my healthy weight at some level bringing back to me. You know, in the dream, you know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't really matter what, you know what I'm saying? If, if somebody's using that, uh, you know, for quitting smoking, hypnosis or something. Again, that's just what's happening. There's nothing wrong or right about that. This is not about, you know, oh, that's not non-duality. No. Who cares? Because there's no one who cares. 
It's just what's happening. So if that's what's happening. If uh, this character goes on a keto diet sometimes <laughs> because it loves eating meat now. It used to be vegan. It doesn't really matter. It's just a character charactering. Again, going back into going back into spirituality and awareness and all that kind of stuff like that, there seems to be an idea that when there is an apparent realization that the character all, all of a sudden becomes dressed in beige and smells like, you know, incense and wears mala beads and really talks in really slow languaging. It's not that. The character is going to be a character, but it's free because the character is not real. It's just what is. It's just what's happening. Um, Henrik, Henrik goes, speak about nothing. Isn't it also a way of creating stories? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything is a story. It's a story that keeps on regenerating to keep the story alive, that it's real. So everything that is a story is a story. Even nothing, even radical non-duality is a story. It's just what's happening. So when, when there's no one choosing to do anything or not, but when there's a seeing that you are getting stuck on the languaging of this uh, radical expression, like for example, if you're getting stuck on unconditional love, free falling, all the greatest hits, unknowing, emptiness. <laughs> um, just see, well, there's no one see, but it's, it's, it's a seeing that it's just, another story again the story latches onto a story to regenerate another story for example the story like well you know what all all, all i am now is unconditional love that's the story <laughs> what's your thoughts on the jimmy Savile documentary and rapists and pedophiles in general I actually saw that. I was actually, you know what, this character was quite shocked because um, I don't really know who Jimmy Savile is. But for you that don't know, there was just this, I know Top of the Pops, you know, like this really well-loved character that was seen as, as a leader, as a moral character and all of this. And there was this documentary that um, exposed him as a pedophile and a rapist. So my jaw dropped. Um, this character, if you speak of character, again, this is not a denial um hope that this character got got you know caught right away and went to jail for a long time but if we're talking about this expression of non-duality this 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 radical uncompromising unconditional that's also seen as pure and innocent do you see what's happening here there is the the apparent, you know, um, that I am, you know, that the I am Emerson or whatever, this character that feels real and it's also the unreal appearing simultaneously. The wordless and the named appearing simultaneously. But since there's a seeing that there is no one here, so even this narrative of, um, of, um, I could have said, um, you know, I agree or disagree. Both are innocent because all of this is just an appearance. But this character, you know what I'm saying, would have wished that that character got caught early on. <laughs> While I was watching that documentary, I'm like, what? He got away with what? But also there's this emptiness in that expression also seeing that you know that that what happened is just what's happening meaning that it's feels real but it's also not real kind of like watching a movie everything is a blank canvas everything is a blank screen and whatever appears on that screen and the reaction from that screen is also what's appearing uh, would you at least say that when this is realized, the stories become lighter? Is the opposite also true? That is, if stories become lighter, this will be realized. Um, no, that's just another story, you see. 
if the stories become lighter or the story um, is heavier. It's just seen that all stories are transparently stories. They're both unreal real, meaning that they feel real, but they're not really real. I'm going to use the, the dream analogy again, right? It's kind of like when you're dreaming, there is an investment while you're dreaming. You, f you know, there's feelings, there's everything that happens in a nighttime dream. And then the moment that you wake up, everything that you've invested upon, it could be um, fear, it could be happiness, disappears like that. So the story disappears completely. It's just seen as a story. Blank pages on a book, empty stories. And the story of the reaction that it feels real is also a story. So it's a story on top of a story on top of a story, an illusion on top of an illusion, blank pages after another. Nothing. Nothing at all. Not even not nothing. Because we can't fully describe it in words. It's just this and not this and not even not this. So it's just this boundlessness no such thing as pure consciousness, no such thing as awareness, no such thing as non-duality even, no such thing as radical, no such thing as uncompromising. They're just all ideas of something that does not exist but seems to exist. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Emerson. You're getting sharper and sharper and sharper. Thank you. There's no Emerson here. But there's always sharpening the machete happening. <laughs> Just joking. David. Hi, David. Hi, Emerson. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Good yeah, to see you, good. David. Good to see you, too. Um, it's just occurred to me that yeah. there's... Yeah. It's just occurred to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, but... There, there, there isn't anything behind this so-called message. No, no, no. And I don't, and I don't mean nothing as in everything is empty kind of way. I mean directly. There literally is nothing behind this message. No, there can't be. There can't. So if you were to, if you were to compare this message with spiritual seeking or religion, there's nothing behind any of that either, no. is there? Because I did, I wondered about the question. Like I was going to ask you. Do you think there's another way to sort of get this message across, but without using words? Because words ultimately fail because they're all dualistic. And I wondered, I wonder if maybe music could be a good conduit for this message. But then I thought, hold on a second. What actually is the message? And it, and it isn't anything. It's absolutely it's nothing. Anything, yeah. So, and that perhaps goes some way to explain why this message isn't going to lead to anything. No. Like people are searching for liberation, yeah. you know, and I'm, and I'm one of them. But this, it absolutely can't lead to that. And, and music can't lead to that. And spirituality and religion and taking because drugs, nothing can lead to nothing, it. Because there's because nothing there's nothing behind it. No, no. It's kind of like the, the story that I was telling in the beginning, right? So in the apparent story of this character, there was this journeying, right? You know, like I'm on a path, right? So I go on a path of religion, I go on a path of spirituality. Then I stumble upon awareness. And, you, you know, you think that you're moving and everything. And then you realize that you're just walking in the same place. You're just in one spot. And then you turn, you look back thinking that you have walked, you know, you're kind of like hitting a wall and you're at the dead end. And then you realize, well, no one realizes, I'm just using words. You turn around, but there were no, ro there were no roads that led to this. Mm. That there's no path. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's, just this, it's just this apparent um, apparent happening that's not really happening. And then you realize that you're not even there. And then you realize that there's no one realizing this. So the awareness, the consciousness that you are trying to get to, the I am that, I, you know, I am pure consciousness or awareness drops as well. Mm. And, 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 um, and it's all pure humility as well because since there's no one here, there's no one better, there's no one less. There's just the absence of everything. And you can't really articulate it in words because it's it's this immediacy, this intimacy, this happening right now that's not really happening. You nodding the head. Everything is appearing, but it's not really appearing simultaneously. 
you know, if you go scientifically, this is 99.99% emptiness, empty space, right? And if you also look scientifically, there's no such thing as time. So for you to nod your head, for me to move, time is needed. So meaning, if you take one of these cards away, you know, like a, the, the illusion of time, for example, then awareness doesn't exist because there is no awareness. For mm. awareness to happen, yeah. there seems to be a from here to there or mm. something to be aware of. Yeah, yeah. So that's what became clear that this just just yeah. this seeing that there's not a seeing back. Yeah. There's no seeing, there's no seer, there's no seeing. It's just this whole seeing. So I can only use the word seeing, but there's mm. nothing behind it because there's no word for it. It's just this wholeness, you know, in everything in the visual field is what is and what isn't as well. Mm. It's complete seeing and full blindness at the same time. And I'm, not, I'm mm. not trying to talk in metaphors or anything. I'm just saying it as it is. Yeah, it's really, it's really, really difficult because I'm now fixating on this word, which I think is perhaps one of the best words that you can use when you're trying to sort of fuse together sort of dualistic terms, you know, opposites and stuff like that. Yeah. And it is this word simultaneously. Yeah. But the word simultaneously is a big problem as well, because yeah. when you think about what simultaneously <laughs> means, you have to take it, it, it in itself is splitting two things apart in it order is. to build them together. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. And that's, that's complete dualism, isn't it? And it is. Yeah. yeah. The, it, the it words, words are absolutely. For simultaneous to happen, there has to be a point of A and B kind of like yeah, happening. Yeah. That's yeah, why that's right. there's no escape to this, right? Yeah. What I'm saying is every single word that we're trying to express yeah. here has yeah. a point of a, a subject object kind of thing because yeah, that's totally. the only way it can express. Yeah. So it's it's like it's like this is a dream of dualism and the non-dualism cannot be spoken of. So I'm dancing around it. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm um, even trying to negate it, but it can't be negated because it's not, it's not in anything, but it's also in everything. Does that make any sense? It yeah, doesn't. It does. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's in every single thing. Yeah. It's appearing in everything. And we keep on looking for what we think is hidden, but it can't be hidden because it appears in every single thing. It can't be realized because it's already realized in everything. And it's just, it's just brilliant. It's brilliant, but it's also really humbling because it's in the shifts. It's also in the shit. <laughs> it's in the higher shifts. It's in the stinkiest shit. It's in everything. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cheers. Oh, thank you so much, Romana. Thank you, Romana. Thank you for... for for being here. Um, I am lost with this Seville thing. Is is there where people stick with people when they walk down the street? There's a feeling of knowing everyone, but not in a good way. Is this just fear? Um, the Seville thing is a documentary about this seemingly really popular character that was well loved, you know, and trusted. Um, that was a pedophile. Fe a pedophile. And um, um, and then he got caught. You know, oh, he did not get ca ca caught. You know, there's a documentary on Netflix right now, and and I watched it, and I was just like, what? Um, so again, you know, what 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 the, I guess the takeaway from this one here is that unconditional love sees that pedophile as completely innocent, but since and that's why, you know what I'm saying? That's what unconditional love means. It's in everything. But what's being expressed here is that if you ask a character, for example, this character, although there's no one here, um, would it condone that? Hell no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It sees it as unconditional, but the character, for example, if, if um, no. Kind of like it's the same thing as me kind of like not really liking bitter melon. I like sweet stuff. But there's no one here at the same time. Would you lock him up? Yes. <laughs> but it's also seen that nothing is happening. 
I know it's very contradictory and very confusing, but it's seen as a happening and an unhappening at the same time. That there's no one doing any of this. That it's just what's happening. It's kind of like when you're watching a movie. There's some characters that you root for. There's some characters that you don't. Although you know that there's no one there. For example, if there is, if you're watching kind of like a, a Spider-Man movie or one of those movies. Um, or you might like the villain. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But this character um, has preferences. For example, I like um, I like DJing. I like walking. That kind of thing. But it's also seen as not happening. Eligio. Uh, Emerson, you beat me to the punch. I was gonna say that. Yeah, it doesn't mean you can't lock that sob up. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's other characters that are gonna go after his ass. It doesn't mean that we're cool with it. It's just yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's just whatever. It's just whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, it, it's, it's. But anyway, you beat me to it. Thank you. Emerson. <laughs> All right. Um. Yes, Seville died before it was revealed. Yeah, so the the um, the 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 character got away with it. He had a kids show where they made kids' dream come true. He was like a Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. I remember looking up to him like a hero. Yeah, I I, I did not grow up in. Did you want to add to that, David? Where, did you grow up in the UK? Was it in um? Was it yes. in I, I, I grew up in in the UK, and other than Top of the Pops, and I was probably around about the age of eight or nine or 10 when we used to watch him. And, and what, what would happen was kids would write letters just like you'd write a letter to Santa Claus. Yeah, and you'd post yeah, it he will make it happen, right? Yeah. Yeah, you post it into the BBC mm -hmm. and their production team would open the letters and they would choose letters and they would literally make the kids' dreams come true. Like they would set up these, you know, events. You know, for example, you might have a kid who always wanted to drive the James Bond car. So they would go out, they'd find the James oh, Bond yeah, car, yeah. they'd give the kid the experience, and then Jimmy Savile would be, would, then they'd all go back to the studio afterwards, and Jimmy Savile would, would award the children with medals, and and they had the theme tune, you know, and it was like Jim will fix it, it was called, so Jimmy yeah. would fix Jim it will for fix you. It, yeah. yeah, and, and the, the big controversy, yeah. I mean, I've not seen the documentary, but I will watch it, but the big controversy was the fact that it was well it was the 1970s and apparently a lot of this sort of stuff went on and was never and was always brushed under the carpet but apparently there was a big conspiracy within the bbc that the, the head honchos at the bbc kind of knew it was a it was kind of the unspoken word where everybody who was anybody knew what was going on but but jimmy jimmy savile was such a big personality who you know the royal family adored and everybody he was a national hero that that nobody at the bbc would speak up and it wasn't until after his death that this all came to light, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. just my, my, yeah, my take. Yeah. I, I watched it and I was, I, I didn't know what happened and I didn't really know. I, I just remember him from the top of the pops, just yeah, yeah. vaguely familiar because um, in, in, in Canada, I guess we didn't have those shows. Um, yeah, but I like yeah. music and I used to watch a lot of them. Like, that's the guy from Top of the Pops. Yeah, that's so it. Yeah. I had a feeling, so I was cringing in the beginning. I'm like, oh, this is not going to be good. This is not mm. going to be good. Kind of why I've not put it on yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. It, it was so cringy. Yeah, yeah, it was very yeah. cringy. And, and I think, I think um, um, watching it again with this, with this, what's, what's being spoken about here is, is has nothing to do with morality. And that's mm. why it's really difficult for spiritual people. To kind of like really can like see this but if you look at the nature of things you know if you go to a if you go to a safari or you go to a um you know a lion you know gobbles up like a gazelle right it doesn't see it as good or bad there are going to mm -hmm. be characters that are going to be predators i'm not condoning it but that's just what's happening there's characters mm -hmm. that are going to be predators and um and that's what they do you know what i'm saying it's just what's happening and again, there's this misconception that after this apparent falling away, that if a, if a character falls away, then then since there's no one, it will just go on a murder spree. No. For example, this character, when this character fell away, when it was just seen that there's no one here, it actually was um, just it became like more like a child. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like um, still did um, still did um, DJing, love DJing more. 
loved the family more. It became, you know, uh, I don't even know what to say. It's just what the character is. Mm. At the same token, if, for example, if a character is an asshole after the falling away, maybe it becomes a bigger asshole. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, also, I mean, it's one of the most trickiest things to talk about with yeah. this subject because it, it does is, yeah. destroys any, everything. There's various ways you can sort of approach it on there. Um, I guess you could say... <clears throat> Um, you know, if this if this is a dream and there are dream murders, then we can lock dream characters up in dream prisons. Do you know what I mean? So that's right. Yeah. Be... Again, my analogy, right? You know, for example, in in the dream, if there's fire, surely the character will um, will um, call the ambulance. If there's a pedophile, yeah. surely the character will call the police and get this, you know, mofo yeah. caught, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's that's just what's happening. And it's not it's not about uh, it's not about even preferences, because this 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 communication is not about preferences of this or that. It's just very raw, honest, of what is happening, and it's seen as everything as pure and innocent. Everything is instantly forgiven, but by no one, since there's no one here. There's just this seeing that everything is just happening as it is. Even the feeling of disgust is also what it is <laughs> when yeah, seeing uh, that. We, we as a species, uh, we don't, I don't think we do anyway, but it seems to me that, it's that we never condemn the animal kingdom. That's right, or, yeah. Or anything like that. I mean, if you take lions, for example, male lion will walk into a pride and it will, the first thing it will do is it will kill all oh, the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that it can then mate with the lionesses. And there's a breed of shark as well. Or I'm even sorry. gorillas. If you see a gorilla, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like the, uh, the uh, what do you call that? The main one um, um, will we'll stomp out the other one. You know what I'm saying? To kind of like take and, over yeah. the, the, yeah. the grayback or something. I can't remember. It's really yeah. fascinating. We, we see it fascinating. But when we see um, a, an apparent human character do that, you know, and, 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 and yeah. murder another person to kind of like... Um, put the position of superiority and everything, then it's seen as something that, you know, the morality and the story come in. Um, yeah. Again, yeah. you know what I'm saying? This communication um, is not it's not a discourse on morality. That's a different issue. Um, yeah. And the what's just being expressed here is just the um, unconditionality and everything, meaning that freedom appears everywhere. Mm. Because the moment that we personalize freedom, then it becomes not really freedom anymore. So unconditional freedom is it appears in pedophiles, it appears in in um, lions and gazelles and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's just seen, you know, when the when the camera pulls back, it's just seen as nothing really happening. Meaning it's seen as a dream, it's seen as an illusion, although it feels completely real. Therefore, it's innocent. Therefore, it's pure because it's a pure, it's kind of like in a dream, you can dream about, you know, in a nighttime dream, you can dream about killers and everything like that. And then, um, and then the moment that you wake up, none of them really existed. That's what's being expressed here. Mm. Yeah. And it's okay. difficult because, you know, with this communication, it can only be expressed in dream terms, in dream speak. Because this is, this is a dream, although there's no one dreaming in it. It's just being expressed. It's just being illuminated that this is dreaming. And everything in it is dreaming, meaning it doesn't have any morality. It doesn't have any purpose. It doesn't have any meaning. It is completely hopeless. But that's also where liberation is. That is just yeah. a dream. Love it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Catherine, there are rumors that the royal family are themselves involved in pedophilia. It's kind of funny because here in the uh, in the apparent, you know, in Canada, I guess is, we're not as uh, as uh, we, yeah. I, so I can't really comment on that one. Uh, Ghislaine. Hi again. <laughs> uh, but that's a shame if it is, Catherine. <laughs> What appeared uh, really strongly when the, um, this message uh, it uh, here, I don't know, is that all everything is so 
gorgeous, but for no one, and lots of it cannot be seen by anyone. You know, uh, I had I this idea like that God, like I used to talk before, it was uh, the biggest waster of, of everything because so much, it, it appears to be so full of beautiful things like every, uh, every uh, snow, uh, you know, um, uh, flocon, you know, snow, they all, uh, they're, they're not be seen, they just fall from the sky and nobody can see the uniqueness of each of it. And everything is, is wasted in a certain way. And there's no way that this earth or anything else is more important than any other, I don't know, planet that doesn't even exist, but there's nothing to be saved. And the great thing with Arsh, Thing happening supposedly to a person it's that it's very important because it's seen that it's not happening to anyone mm, yeah there's no victim because a predator mm -hmm. only looks for a prey but not a somebody so it in a certain way these bad event, uh, events kind of telling the truth there there's it uh, it's what it was so like oh my god okay there's no me in the equation and I've no, never no it's, just, it's just what's happening yeah yeah it's just what's happening yeah. kind of like kind of like you know when you see um an elephant uh, you know uh, trampling you know um something or a lion killing a gazelle there's no me there it's not going to be it's just no, what's happening no. there's it, it's not even seen as good or bad it's just what's no. happening but yeah. when the when the uh, when the lens goes into the character then it becomes about shadow it becomes about um um projection and um it becomes about this and that so what's happening the reaction is kind of like a reaction when you see for example for example, with what's happening, there could be compassion that could happen. You know what I'm saying yeah. with 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 that with that person. You know that that was. But there's also compassion for the victims. You know what I'm saying? Yes, of so course. Compassion, um, but that's just another story. You know what I'm saying? But but longer than that, it's mm. a it's a, doesn't <laughs> go anywhere longer than that. It's what happening at each moment. There is something very bad happening, like an explosion, mm. but there is no good at uh, being PDSD for the rest of the uh, apparent life. If it's happened, it's happened, but yeah. you know, it yeah, doesn't can... mean anything. Yeah. So I, I guess that I, I used to be very like, in French, we see fleur bleu, you know, you know, everything has meaning. No. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. And that's cool. I, I prefer. Anyway, the, the arch true is better than anything else. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gillian. <laughs> uh, I, I have a question here from Anne, and I was partially answering it with. with uh, with uh, with Ghislaine. you know what that there's this thing about the shadow side being disowned are those like Seville our projection what what is not owned I used to and I used to um you know this character used to um be a teacher and worked on shadow work and traumas and all that kind of stuff like that so what is seen here is just the immediacy the reaction of whatever is happening as just something also pure and innocent what's happening there and what's happening here is pure innocent but again if shadow work is is something that wants to be worked on this is not the communication for that one this just sees as i said earlier the immediacy of things the immediacy on an unconditional lens that since there is no one that there's not nothing happening kind of like in an animal kingdom when it's seen that it's just nature happening meaning that um there's going to be predators there's going to be you know um um food it's just what's happening so it's it's not a um so this 
communication is 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 almost like a discovery channel. It just sees, <laughs> you know, when you see all of those animals and all that kind of stuff, it just see sees it unconditionally. It doesn't see a me. It doesn't see whatever. It's just see it in a really wider scope. <laughs> the the stickiness of the um, human um, story, the story of humans, the story of a me and everything, is just everything is in a microscope. Mm. Unconditional love then. is is kind of like in a in a macroscope, in a wide lens. Go ahead, sorry, who's that? Hello, it's still Anne here. Oh, hi, Anne. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm so <laughs> out there. <laughs> Stop You're being like, chicken. <laughs> Show yourself. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> One piece at a time. <laughs> no worries. I don't know. I, uh, I I can hear what you're saying, and I yeah. heard what everyone said about you know Savile and yeah. like his behavior, his character. Yeah. And um, but I just there's still something here. I don't know. Said. It's not about agreeing or disagreeing. It's no. just like this sense of. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. And you were talking about levels, but yeah. it's the level of it. <laughs> There's um, the levels, right? So, level is just another yeah. idea. So, this is just the whatever expresses. <laughs> It's just this, since there's no one doing it, it's mm. seen as a happening that's also not happening, right? Mm. For example, if um, if the reaction here is disgust, then that's just mm -hmm. what's happening. If mm -hmm. the reaction here is like, um, it's kind of like when you're watching a movie, you know, you're watching a scary movie. Sometimes you close your eyes when there's some gory scenes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not a judgment. It's just a reaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that make sense? I don't think it does. But... It does. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> okay. It's. I guess there's just things are kind of shifting around mm. a bit because you know you were saying, and I'm going back to the levels again. Of no, like, worries, uh, no worries. No worries. <laughs> no worries. Like uh, you know the conscious mind, the unconscious mind, the higher yeah. self. All of these. I. You know, I'm kind of like thinking all of the stuff that I've learned. That's, I mean, that's, I didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, and that's what's being expressed here is that, you know, when, yeah. when this was a, a, a spiritual teacher and a teacher of consciousness and awareness yeah. is that it, it liked all of this, um, you know, um, notes. It's kind of like, you know, no, mm -hmm. it's kind of like all of these notes about what is. It's yeah. like, but it really doesn't mean anything yeah. because there's no time and there's nothing happening. So all of this stuff that... <laughs> Um, it's just dream stuff. It's kind of like when you're dreaming and you think that it really, really matters. It's really, really important. And it it, mm -hmm. it, it must mean, it means the world to me. It's everything. Yeah. And then you wake up and you're like, oh, that was just a dream. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's, that's what was seen. It's just that everything that was held on to really believed, really kind of like, including the biggest one. The biggest one was that there must be... Um, a higher being yeah. that's watching over me that safety mm -hmm. net you know and i can see why a lot of awareness and consciousness you know is that safety net of of consciousness being a higher being you know you know uh, joining or you un, un, uniting with the being mm -hmm. so it's it's, it's kind of like the idea of a child has just kind of like almost kind of like gone underground and morphed into understanding knowing mm -hmm. believing because when there's a believer when there's a knower then there is a um a belief in the dream that's happening it cannot this it cannot distinguish the dream although it will say that this is a dream it'll probably mm -hmm. think that this is still happening to me so there's still mm -hmm. a me right so when when i when I hear, um, I'm not going to mention the name of this the teacher, quite popular, I might get sued. But when he talks about knowing, I'm kind of like, oh, there's a knower. Mm -hmm. Even even when he talks about awareness, then it's 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 who's abiding in awareness and knowing, and having all of this experience, 
is still it's kind of like someone that woke up in a dream um momentarily and then mm. pressed the snooze button went back to sleep and told everyone in the dream that I have figured out I am enlightened now because I've seen the light mm -hmm. but really you know dude you just woke up when someone switched on the light and you went back to sleep <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And they proclaim their enlightenment, and they can also proclaim that everyone can get in, 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 enlightened. Mm. And there's nothing wrong or right about that because it's just a dream. But there's also a disagreement here because I'm kind of like, really? That's what I thought in a dream as well. Because I reached those, you know, I tried to reach those levels. When I got to those levels, I'm like, what's the next level? What's the mm -hmm. next level? It's actually a secret desire to be God. It's this, okay. it's this idea that, uh, you know what, you don't know it yet, and I don't know yet, but really I'm God. I am, I am all of this. I am everything. So that idea of awareness and consciousness is that I am, replace consciousness with God, replace consciousness with, you know, awareness with God. I am finally realized that I am actually God. And how lucky I, I am, you know, to be speaking in front of you. No. <laughs> so once it's seen that that collapses, that awareness and that consciousness and that thing that it's seen that everything is just a dream happening but not happening to anyone, then there's liberation. Mm -hmm. Then there's this kind of like, oh, my goodness. Pers freedom is actually not personal. Freedom just appears everywhere. Mm -hmm. Freedom appears as teachers of awareness. Freedom appears as teachers of consciousness. Freedom appears yeah. as cockroaches. Yeah. So I guess there appearing. is yeah. this thing where you think there's going to be lots of I am's all over the place. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. A lot of I am that, yeah. I am I is a dream. When I get stuck, I, get, I go back into the dissociation. Yeah, that. that I am awareness, right? That dissociation, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah, that's actually a really good, really good one there. Um, and it's dissociative. Yeah. It's a bypassing kind of thing because you mm -hmm. you think that you're some. There was a time that I would I would um, I would um say I am that 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 like a hundred eight times a day. Or I would, or I would um, say that I am awareness, awareness. You know, I'm not in my awareness, and I would try to get to that state. I said that's really dualistic because who's really doing that? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's being talked about is the great equalizer, that it just nothing really exists, but everything seems to exist. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to close this up. We're going to take a little break. Um, I just wanted to um, thank every one of you. Thank you so much. It's great to be back. As I said, you know, D DJing for me is like, um, oh, sorry. Speaking is like DJing to me. <laughs> See, there's this. <laughs> um, I'm going to close the room, but I'm going to open it back for a breakout room. I just have to get the recording. All right. So see you guys back. Just log back on again and the same login. And oh, hi, Grace. Hi. Hi, Romana. Hey, what time, Emerson? Because I'm planning to go out with my dog. Oh, uh, 11 a.m. So it's a long break, but there's going to be a long breakout room. You know, people request okay. a longer breakout room, not just an hour. So, okay, um, then it's going to be 11 o'clock your time. 11 o'clock my mm -hmm. time. So um, uh, where are you? I'm Prague. I bet I can look my phone. Yeah, look it up. You look know, it up. I have, yeah. I have their Toronto and it shows me whatever time it's at. Yes, yes, there's a converter. <laughs> the reason I did not put the time there anymore because I kept on screwing it up. Yeah, yeah Every yeah. time that I, every time that I, <laughs> we were like, ah, oh, Emerson, you know, or they'll miss the meeting. So I'll see you guys. I'll Emerson, close this. Emerson, I'm, I'm how really many really hours really from really now? Thank you. Um, it I is already 9.30, so an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Thank an hour you. And a half, yeah. All right, log back on again and I'll see you.